There we go. Sup guys, Mr. 3000 GT. Bringing you part 47 of the PlayStation Demo Disc series. Does that work? Oh, come on. I don't think analog support supported in this demo. But this is Threads of Fate, part 47. We got Mint, Spunky Girl who's magical-ish. And Rue, a mysterious boy. I'm gonna go with Rue, my boy. It's been three years already, but she's still on my mind. She was so kind and gentle, so warm-hearted like the soft spring sunlight. I was happy just to be with her. But, uh... Some gobbledygooker with a big hand came in. No, she's gone. She was taken away from me, taken someplace far away. There's only one way to get her back. I have to find the square circle brackets relic. I'm going to save Claire no matter what. That's my, that's how Rue talks. Believe me, this game's fully voiced and <gasps> analog support. So this is going to be a long motherfucker. Let's just get that out of the way. This game, this demo is huge. And the controls are weird. And there's lots of monsters. And I can transform into monsters by collecting monster tokens. I can transform into a polywog. Hold down square and choose polywog. Now. Sup, boys? And then I collect this animal and... Well, yeah. Whee! But I can trans... Okay, left right through here. I can transform into a mandola. I don't remember what this does. Oh, okay. There, it's a chest. Oh, bronze coins are continues. Silver, gold coins are continues. You can find them in treasure boxes. And this is like a little tutorial part of the demo. Even though this demo's huge. There's a potion. Oh boy, a saber. Oh shit. I want it. I want to attack with square. That feels natural. Oh no, get up there. I want that coin. Gotta get the saber coin. And I think there's infinite enemies. I'm not sure, but I'm getting a lot of potions. I don't can't remember if blue potions are magic or HP, but I think no, they're they're magic. Oh, the red are magic potions. Okay, blue is health. There's health drops everywhere. Can I jump that? I can jump it. This is weird because it's like an RPG-ish game, but there's action in it. And I'm going around in a like 2D, 3D world. But there's a lot of hack and slash. Now I got full MP and I got full HP. But that was just like a tutorial part, pretty much. There's no story development there. But here we are. We walk into this little place. <laughs> and what the? Please let me go. Blood, come on, baby. We ain't gonna hurt you. We just want enough food. That's all. We haven't eaten for two days, you know. Smokey, yeah, got no money for dinner either. Eh, 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 eh. What do you say, baby? Got anything to spare? I don't have any money. Eh, eh, let's rough her up. I don't know how I did that voice in this most inconsistent person ever. Look at his chest beating. What should I do? I have to be careful or she might get hurt. Um... Now see, right? Now you're in a sitch. This is situational gameplay. Well, I don't want to just not do anything and explain, but... Situational gameplay. See? Like, right now, look at me. I'm a polywog. See? see the hell and see now this is situational because with the other girl you're pl you're all placed in the exact same situations it's just different characteristics that change the gameplay
Whoa! I think I'm in a bad spot here. But if I keep doing this very strategically, I think I did it. Shit! Can't fight no empty stomach, you know. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro, wait for me. And then they peed the fuck out. Like, yeah, come on. And I'm like, yeah. Are you okay? Thank you, Polly. Wow, you can turn into a person too, huh? Polly? Oh no, I'm not a polywog. This is the real me. But I saw you when you came out. You were a polywog. That was just a disguise to catch them off guard. My name isn't Polly, it's Rue. Oh, okay. Your name is Rue and you're a polywog. Uh, uh, uh. I really like Polly. Can I call you Polly? Um, how should I explain this? Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't even introduced myself. Thanks again for helping me, Polly. My name is Elena. Gee, if you hadn't come, I don't know what would happen to me. What are you doing here? This forest looks very dangerous. There are monsters everywhere. I came here to look for my parents. They have been gone for... Five days now! Five days! Five days! Five days! Five days! Five days now, sucker! I know they're here somewhere! <gasps> Those boots might go after my parents! I had to go find them fast, Polly! It was nice meeting you! Hey, wait. I'll go with you. Let me help you look for your parents. Oh, really? Gee, you're such a nice Polly, Wog! Thanks, I really appreciate this. Okay, let's go, Polly. Polly me. It's not Polly. <laughs> Jeez, that girl really thinks I'm a monster. <laughs> Why can't she accept me? Maybe I am. Ooh, ooh, freakish teenage angst. I think it's this way. Come on. You know what's the worst? Escort missions. Where the hell did she go? Like... Oh, whoops. I wasn't polywogged. I'm dumb. Oh, what's up there? There she is. She just did, like teleported through that whole sequence. Now, if you're playing as Mint, the chick with the magic chick with the rings, I'm pretty sure that area is infested with monsters. Elena! Hey, ma! Elena, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? You haven't come home for five days. I was so worried about you. <gasps> Dad, what happened to your leg? Oh, it's nothing. I twisted my ankle a little. I can still walk. Yeah, thank goodness. I'm sorry, darling. I guess I became too caught up in my research again. I can't believe you came here by yourself. Are you alright? Actually, some brutes almost mocked me, but Rue the Polywog saved me. Well, the Polywog? Hello. You're. That's real, but I call him Polly. Paul is really amazing. He's a Polly, but he can turn into a person. But he's usually a person and his name's Rue, so I call him Rue the Polywog. Huh? Hold on, honey. I'm getting confused. So your name is Rue, right? Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Rue. My name is Klaus. I live with Corona. In Corona with my family. Oh, and that's my wife, Mira. 
Hello, Rue. Sounds like you helped Elena through a lot of trouble. Thank you for helping, huh? Yes, thank you. Gosh, I'm so ashamed. I completely forgot about my daughter. Father of the Year award goes to Klaus. The relic was the only thing on my mind. Relic, are you looking for the relic? Well, yes. I'm looking for the relic too. Well, this is a coincidence. So, Rue, why are you looking for the relic? <laughs> you ever wanted to see backstory in a video game? This game doesn't want you to have have it. Sorry, guys, there was no backstory there. So you came to Corona to look for the relic? Yes, I have to find the relic no matter what. Sir, is there anything you can tell me about the relic? I'm sorry. We just met and I'm being so pushy. Ma, you're so serious. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. If I were in your shoes, I'd be just as earnest. So if there's anything you want to ask me, please don't hesitate, okay? And it's not, sir. Just call me Klaus, a doctor, if you must. Oh, and by the way, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Yes, anything. I was thinking. If it's okay with you, why don't we look for the relic together? Of course. I'd be happy to. Great, it's decided then. Thank you, Rue. Let's do our best to find the relic. Yes, thank you. Well then, let's get started. Rue, can you please follow me? Look at that gimp on him. Gee, it's so steep. Somewhere down there, there's a path that leads you to the altar. What is an altar? It's a magician's workshop. Supposedly, about a hundred years ago, a magician lived in a forest. We believe that the magician did some research on the relic. If we go to the Salterium, maybe we can get more info about the relic. If the legend is true, there should be some kind of special area down there. The path that leads to Altile should be somewhere hidden somewhere there. But as you can see, this cliff is so steep we can't get down there. Before you came, I tried to get down there, but ended up slipping and twisting my ankle. Real question though, if he fell down there and twisted his ankle, how do you get back up with the twisted ankle? Eh? Uh, I can do this. Doctor, I'll give it a try. I'll get down there somehow. You're kidding! I'll try to find a safe path. I'll meet you all down there. Please take your time. Are you sure you're gonna be alright? I heard there's some monsters looking about these cliffs. I'll be fine. I've survived greater dangers before. It doesn't matter. I'll do whatever it takes to get the relic. Be careful, all right? Good luck, pal! Thanks, I'll see you all later. If you guys were looking for gameplay, this game's story-driven. Aw, oh, you, you dink. Hey, a new animal card. Boom, boom. Thank goodness, the good thing is that everybody drops health potions, like... But these little runts... Runts! <laughs> oh my god! That's ridiculous, they're so small, it's so... Oh, oh, okay, didn't need the jump. Shit, I could've polywalked across there, like... Dang, he didn't drop what I wanted him to. Bam, bam, bam! See, now... Oh, you! It's 
a good thing these little turds drop in health potions. Ow. And it's a good thing these enemies aren't damaging. And it's a good thing the soundtrack's great, too. Now, I made it through the forest. And now I'm at some weird thing. It looks so real. Gargoyle face. Face the gargoyle. Now, look at this. Now, see? Gargoyles? Now, riddles, right? Old. Oops. Now, ta-da! Look at that. Now, this is what is neat about this game. It's fancy in these aspects, like... I just beat up gargoyles, transformed into a gargoyle, and then sat as another gargoyle to solve a puzzle. Like... For some reason, I thought this demo was really long, but I'm, this might be the end. I was getting confused at the end of this demo and the end of a demo coming way later, Klonoa. The one with the little, like, fur thing with the flappy ears and whatnot. I think this, like, it's the same, same idea at the end of the demo. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you get isolated on hills and steeples with big bosses. Jeez, the Altilla has a guardian. Today is not my day. Yeah, God! Whoa, that's the worst. Okay, this is a real, like, boss-boss battle. Like, you want to transform into this bugger. To, like, stay out of his way when he comes charging after you, because this is the fastest character that I have. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay, cool. He's almost gone. Oh my god. Oh my god! I didn't even see his health bar! Sorry, I have to move on. And now I guess I'm gonna walk right up to it. Jeez. I didn't think this was this short. Unless, unless it's really- Oh, it's longer with mint. That's why I picked the short route. If you pick mint, it's a whole, like, it's the same route, but, you know, I know what dangers lie ahead, but I'm not turning back. It's the same route, but it's different. Because you're a different character with different abilities, and therefore it puts you in a different aspect of the game. Claire is waiting for me. I have to find that relic. Like, you know what I mean? See, then we get like little. See, there's there's mint. See, it comes with different aspects because they're different people, different characters. So it's not like putting a different skin on the character and playing through the game again. You actually have to play through it a different way, different character relations. Well, I'm assuming by that they meet up at one point, but I mean like, see, you can see he has combat, and looks like. She is somebody, and there's all these characters, right? It's a very different type of action RPG type game. I feel like those guys are anime goons. Like, see? He can jump down there and turn into a gargoyle. She would have to run down all those stairs. Like, I'm assuming they meet up because it's the Threads of Fate. But, like, this game actually looked kind of super fun. It looked like a lot of, like, fun elements and nice places and everything. Only thing is, I don't think there's actual voice acting in it. There might be. I couldn't tell ya. But this is Mr. 3000 GT. That was part 47 on my PlayStation Demo News series, Threads of Fate. I hope y'all enjoyed. Take care.